Today on Engineering Newswire, we're building a bionic hand, creating a blade the ceiling fan, and adding hands-free augmented reality to glasses. Flipping through instruction manuals is a painful and borderline impossible task given your level of patience. It's likely why most males gave it up entirely under the guise of chauvinism. But what would make men once again reach for the reference manual? Make it a gadget. Researchers at the Fraunhofer Center for Organics, Materials and Electronic Devices have spent years designing interactive head-mounted displays based on OLED technology that can access augmented reality and enhance the real world with additional visual information. Previously, the user required gloves or a joystick to navigate through the augmented reality. This is no longer the case as designers have succeeded in developing data glasses with displays that can be controlled by the movements of the human eye. Cool factor reinstated. For the first time ever, researchers have integrated OLEDs with photo detectors onto the surface of the CMOS chip. The chip is equipped with transmitter and receiver units that configure the pieces of information sequentially. This gives a bi-directional micro-display, making it possible both to record and reproduce images. As long as the uploaded manuals are more specific than those infernal IKEA pictures, this product is sure to be met with rave reviews. I mean, come on, what does this mean? How about this one? I'm building a love seat and all I need is a hex wrench? <laughs> That's preposterous. Steve Norris, a software engineer with a knack for robotics, has built himself a remote-controlled robot in his spare time that could give professional bots a run for their money. The patrol bot, built with an all lumen chassis and independent wishbone suspension, maneuvers around on wheels, sending its operator live video feed from a night vision video camera. It also features propellers and motor controllers with a pan and tilt system. For its defense systems, Norris equipped the patrol bot with a streamlight flashlight, a 100 decibel car horn, and a squirt gun powered by a liquid pump. While this patrol bot won't be stopping any thieves in the foreseeable future, it is a great tool to chase away menacing rodents and scaring the heck out of the neighboring dog which can't seem to do number two in its own yard. As for me, I'll be taking full advantage of something like this when the day comes for my daughter to bring home her first boyfriend. What are you guys doing? Remember MechWarriors? The Perceptual Robotics Laboratory in Italy has developed a wearable mechanical exoskeleton called the Body Extender that seems to be driving us towards real-life mech warriors. Are you excited about this? Because I am. The suit is capable of multiplying the operator's lifting strength by over 20 times. It weighs 353 pounds and sports 22 degrees of freedom. One of the most profound aspects of this Iron Man suit is the fact that it is essentially the human version of a plug-and-play system. No excessive training or complicated instructions for operation. Just strap the thing on and you're ready to fend off Zion from invading sentient robots. With one of these, I could be ready to take on the next Matrix. Ceiling fan design has not changed very much over the last 150 years or so since the ver their first appearance. And their cooling technique isn't very effective unless you're standing directly under the blades. Exhale Fans, a Georgetown, Indiana-based ceiling manufacturer, is determined to disrupt the fan industry with its innovative bladeless ceiling fan design. The Exhale Fan utilizes the science of laminar flow. This translates into an uninterrupted 360-degree airflow, generating less noise and bringing pure comfort to any room. The gentle vortex that is created transforms your space, just like a spring breeze. In theory, this 360 degree movement of the air around the room should eliminate the hot and cold spots associated with traditional ceiling fans. The whole thing is powered by a high efficiency DC motor with a six speed wireless remote. My only problem with this design is the loss of viral videos such as this one. Oh! Yeah kid, try and jump in between the blades. Nigel Acklin was employed as a precious metal smelter until an accident with an industrial blender led to a severe crush injury of his right forearm. After several years of struggling with different prosthetics, Nigel was fitted with a B-Bionic V2 hand from RSL Steeper. Each digit of this frontline prosthetic has an individual motor creating compliant and conformable grips. A manually adjustable thumb has two locking positions with an integrated sensor for position detection. There are up to 14 grip patterns for finite performance and delicate clasping. 
This prosthetic even closes slightly when not in use to give a more realistic and aesthetic appearance. This mechanical hand sheds innovation, innovative light on what is arguably the most important part of the prosthetic design, a patient's psychological connect connection with their new limb. Nigel finds himself at the forefront of the medical engineering world as we continue to rebuild people better, faster, stronger. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm David Manti and this has been your Engineering Newswire.